wanted to go over um, this very convincing uh, phishing email meant to imitate PayPal because these are some of the better efforts I've ever seen. Um, and I've gotten a couple like this. This one has a little bit of a different template. It's this invoice from Bitcoin exchange. Um, and it has a statement here, um, you know, I'm being charged $500. And what they're trying to get me to do is to call this phone number. And then once I'm on the phone, they'll try to get me to do something that'll end up in them um, having money, like, you know, fill out some kind of report, give them some kind of uh, account information. But what's impressive about this is like, first of all, it comes from PayPal. Um, from service at PayPal. And uh, look, you know, Google's even marking it as important. So uh, they're they're managing to send it from uh, the, the PayPal domain um, via an exploit I've read about, but won't go into detail. And then it anybody can make an email that looks like a PayPal email and mimic their layout. But also what I tend to look for in phishing emails is where do the links go? And there, these links go to PayPal. This view and pay invoice goes to PayPal, help contact PayPal, PayPal, PayPal. All of these links actually go to the right places on the, on the um, PayPal website. And there's even this, like PayPal is committed to identifying fraudulent emails and they link to like their phishing page. So that's like a very, uh, you know, um, tricky thing to do. And uh, it just, it looks very realistic. Um, now, what are the signs that it's not um, from PayPal? Uh, it should have your name in the hello thing. Uh, so the fact that it just says hello and doesn't have your name is a good indication that it's, this is actually phishing. Um, this note is written a little weird. PayPal would probably not be using just like this arbitrary capitalization. I think they did this just because people scan emails and tend to not read them. And this, they're capitalizing all the words that they really want you to see, right? Like you're being charged, give us a call. Otherwise you'll have to do a payment. We'll give you a refund. That's why those are capitalized. But this is not a normal way to write a statement that a company would use. And then this phone number is kind of weirdly formatted. I don't think that this is a convention uh, anywhere in the world is this period space, period space between the different spots. I think the phone number is formatted like this to somehow avoid att uh, attempts to detect um, uh, you know, evil phone numbers related with scammers. Um, so this is like formatted in a particular way to just throw them off. Um, but that's kind of subtle. It's really the, the trickiest thing is the fact that it does come from PayPal and links to PayPal. So it looks very real. This was the first one that I got. Um, one of these scams again, see that it says he hello. And it's, it's kind of similar, it just says that there's some kind of invoice. Um, and it's, uh, talking about like a Walmart e-gift card, probably what they'll do if you call the number is get you to like create a, a gift card that they can take, um, from you. And just again, looks very realistic, but you know, this is not a transaction that I've undergone. The first thing you do is you go to PayPal and you see, oh, I have, there are no invoices there. There are no transactions. So, uh, you know, this is not something I need to worry about. But then also, you know, the fact that it doesn't say my name uh, and then rather than call a phone number that's listed in the email, try to find um, PayPal's uh, actual customer support email on the PayPal.com website and call that instead of what's in this email. Um, what you should do with these emails when you get them is forward to uh, phishing at PayPal.com so that they know the emails are look like this and they can do something about it though you know this was a while ago and they still haven't stopped this issue so paypal clearly has some work to do here and um, just to um make things a little clearer too here's like an actual email from paypal uh so we can compare against those 
and you see that uh, it's it's from PayPal the same, so from the paypal.com um, domain, though it is a, a subdomain here, mail.paypal.com. Um, but it says uh, Eric Petplace right at the top. It says, hi, Eric Petplace. Um, so it says my, my name in it. And uh, it's not trying to get me to call any phone number. These links do go to the PayPal domain. Um, and it's those are the main differences, I would say, is the, the fact that it uses my name and it's not like you know an invoice for a transaction that never even happened. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to cover those because th these are some of the more convincing phishing uh, efforts I've seen recently. And it seems like it would be really easy to fall for them. But uh, those are some tips for spotting it and what to do when you spot it.